God. Wait, you have that small speaking voice and this giant singing? What would just happen? What? I'm not super crazy confident normally. But when I sing, I'm a very different person. A lot of people are shocked by the contrast of my singing voice and my normal voice. These four coaches are really special. I think they might be a little surprised when they hear me sing. I really feel like I'm ready to do this. Summer after high school, when we first met, we made God in your Mustang to radio head. And on my 18th birthday, we got matching tattoos. Used to steal your bed slicker and climb to the roof. Don't be bad at future, I'll be at it too. Never been a wonder. Oh, my God! Hi! What's your name? I'm Gina Miles. I'm 18. I'm from Paxton, Illinois, but I live in Sacramento, California now. God. Wait, you have that small speaking voice and this giant singing? What would just happen? What? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Big Sorry. energy. Big <laughs> energy. Uh, marker. My name is Gina Miles. Marker. <laughs> Really give them everything, all you have to do. Yeah. Right to me. Go. I'm Gina Miles. I'm 18, and I'm from Paxton, Illinois. Growing up, I never needed to be the loudest in the room. I'm pretty shy normally. We were aware of how deep and rich her voice was. Uh, it's it was just kind of shocking more than anything else. I really have spent a lot of time trying to hone in on a sound for myself, and I really enjoy expressing confidence in that way. I think they remember my posture, Dad. Mm, I have like a good point. <laughs> Music for me started so early because my dad is a DJ and I would go to DJ gigs with him. When I was 14, I started doing fun little shows here and there. I did bars, hotels, basically anywhere they would let me sing. I was like, anyone need a singer? <laughs> We're going to take you on a little tour of the ranch, so come along. On my 18th birthday, I decided to move to California with my aunt to pursue music and now to be at The Voice. It was definitely the best decision I ever made. I love voices with so much like, character like you've got. It was incredible to see you get up there and really hit those notes with proper control. Like, for such a young girl, it was incredible. I could sense nerves. I could see you, like, holding the mic with two hands. Because I used to be, like, barely able to go on stage and be gripping the mic stand, holding onto the mic like you were doing right now. And you're going to grow into this competition. I feel like you've got so much more to give. This is very exciting. Well done. Hi, Gina. Hi, Kelly. OK, your beautiful eyes were closed but I turned around like way before him. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I don't know if that's nerves or if it's her just really loving this message and wanting to be the vessel for it. You had me in the beginning when it was a beautiful whisper, how you were sounding, and then it like exploded in the chorus. And 
I am great at teaching vocalists like breath control, bubbling before you get out there, like really making sure that you're so solid with your vocal ability that by the time you're out here, you don't, you're not nervous because you've done it so much. But I'm just a really big fan of your voice. Obviously, I've been doing pop music for 20 years, so I'm all right at it. <laughs> and I feel like we would work really well together. I also have a really cute jacket, just saying. It's really cute. Are you giving him help? What are you doing? I'm giving my phone number. I haven't given him my number yet. You are not. You are giving him help. Kelly can't coach nerves. She admits it. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I'm not good at it. I don't know how to, I try so I hard, it. but I, I fail every time. Kelly's one of the best singers of the last 10 generations. Um, and she can uh, do the vocability stuff with you. I personally am not the biggest singer that ever walked the planet, but I feel like I try and sing with a bit of feel and a bit of character, and you have both of those things. You went for the big choruses, but you were so amazing in the early moments of the song. They're the moments that you're like, oh, God. Like, you know when you hear a good verse sung by someone that really means what they're singing? There's no better feeling. I've been there. I've walked through a competition like that. Me too. Yeah, she has. <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't alive, but I did. <laughs> and, um, yeah, whoever you pick, you're in great hands. Wow, this has truly been a battle to the death here. I, I mean, I don't know. The gloves have really come off on this one, I'll tell you. I just didn't turn around because my team is filling up. So I would just say, Gina, who do you pick as your coach? Gina was brilliant. It's nice to hear a bit of dynamic in these auditions. Gina's got a lot of character to her voice, and she's going to be a lot of fun to work with. What kind of stuff do you listen to? I've got myself a team of nine out of nowhere, so I'm going to have to stay quiet for a second until I really, really, really like something. Here's my thing, Blake. Help a sister out. I'm struggling. Niall's been killing it, and you're passing notes to try and help him win. Throw me a paper airplane with a note, right? But he's never gonna help me, not even his last season. It's fine. <laughs> what happened on that one? I am not a liar. It's fun to kick Kelly while she's down. It really paid off. <laughs> Man! I am never helping you again, ever. <laughs> Why is that? I write something down on the pad and hand it to you in privacy, <laughs> and you're like, Oh, it says, uh... It's because you're so polite. Kelly can't coach This nerves. is a television show. She admits show. it. This... What is wrong with you? I don't know if in Ireland it's common practice to be passed a note about somebody and then read the note aloud to the person. Who does that? I'll get him back. I'm gonna get him back. That is the last time I'm helping that kid out. Hey there, welcome to the end screen. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. See you next time.